Chapter 52 Guhai Resume Meng Tai stayed in Silver Moon City for three days, met with Shang Wan Trace, and met with a group of officials who were busy in the piano building. After turning around Silver Moon City, he hurried back with four copies of the Imperial Decree. Above the sea, my lord, in the Imperial Decree that the Emperor gave you, why is it all about knocking? A brocade guard looked at Meng Tai worriedly. Meng Tai looked at the sparkling sea, revealed a bitter smile, shook his head and said, My mind, all was guessed by the Emperor, without seeing me. All know my thoughts, this is the last time to give me a warning. Ah, oh, well, don't talk nonsense, previously has left a group of brocade guards in Silver Moon City. We do our job on the line. The Emperor has given us a great right, if we don't know how to cherish. Then we are too much for ourselves," Meng Tai said in a deep voice. Yes, the flying boat sped across the sea, and finally arrived at the Thousand Island Sea once again after most of a month. Shu, Shu, Shu. As they passed by a sea island, three figures steeply flew up into the sky and stopped Meng Tai. Mr. Meng, Mr. Meng, you've finally returned. The casino of our six islands combined has been constructed almost. A robed man laughed loudly. Meng Tai coldly looked at the opposite side. Don't worry, Mr. Meng. Our casino is even bigger and more magnificent than Gu Hai's casino. We are just waiting for a uh, Meng to come over with that group of great Han officials who are ready to defect to us. Another man laughed. Meng Tai smiled coldly and said, Ha ha, gentlemen. The few people in charge of the Royal Casino of the Great Han that you bought off have been imprisoned by me, and you want me to bring them together to defect to you. Oh, ha 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 ha. What? With Mr. Meng's power? It's easy, right? You all don't have to think about it. Those people collaborating with the enemy and betraying the country is a capital offense. I will behead them immediately when I return to the dynasty. Meng Tai said coldly. What, Mr. Meng, what do you mean? Didn't you say it's done? You still want to follow Gu Hai? What does that Gu Hai have? It's just a great Han dynasty. How can it be as powerful as our Six Islands Alliance? Ridiculous. Meng Tai smiled coldly and flicked his hand. Shu. The flying boat ignored the three people and flew away once again flying in the direction of the Nine Five Islands. Meng Tai, you'll regret this. The three watched the flying boat leave and roared angrily. Meng Tai stood at the deck railing and coldly glanced at the three people in the distance. Regret. I'll only regret it later, if I follow you guys. HMPH. Meng Tai let out a low grunt and turned his head to no longer pay attention to these three jumping clowns. From the Great Han Dynasty, and everything in Silver Moon City. Meng Tai finally recognized the fact that the Great Han Dynasty was in the midst of a strong rise, along with Gu Hai. One person, 10,000 people. If he followed Gu Hai, he would only rise higher. He only had some small intelligence, and in terms of the big picture, he was indeed far worse than Gu Hai. Nowadays, the only thing one can do is not to have some small mind but to try to do their job well and guard their rights. When we go back, the brocade guards expand their recruitment and the major cities of the Nine and Five Islands intensify their encrypted inspections, Meng Tai said in a deep voice. Yes, Silver Moon City. Mr. Mo, when are we going to the front line? How much longer do we have to wait? Young Master unfrowned as he looked towards Mo Yike who was in the middle of playing chess alone. Mr. Mo, the wars at the front line of the princes are ongoing. There are no more important matters here are. Why does Mr. still want to stay in Silver Moon City? Zhong Chongyi was also curious. Mo Yike, however, has been guarding Silver Moon City. Even if he has nothing to do every day, he still waits in the midst of it. Finally, after another three days, report, the Thousand Island Sea sentries have returned. A subordinate rushed into the Great Hall. Oh, Mo Yika's eyes steeply lit up, dropping the chess pieces in his hand. Go, 
Go back to the front line now and join up with the king. Mo Yike laughed. A, yes, young master and revealed a wave of bewilderment. The crowd very quickly left Silvermoon City. After leaving Silvermoon City, they boarded the flying boat. Mo Yika immediately called out, where's the information? Quickly, bring it to me, yes. Several dusty subordinates came forward and handed out a thick stack of information. So only this much, Mo Yika frowned. Sir, we've done our best, moreover, this is already a lot, more than everyone we've collected before. A few subordinates said bitterly, all right, go down and collect your reward. Take a rest, freshen up, and come over and give me additional explanations after I finish reading the information later, Mo Yika said in a deep voice. Yes, the group of subordinates immediately retreated. Young Master incuriously looked at the thick pile of information in front of Mo Yike. A few big words Gu Hai resume were written on the cover of the information. This is, Mr. Mao asked someone to look into Gu Hai's bottom line. Young Master and was surprised. Mamo, however, ignored it and looked at it alone. The information was very detailed, and Mr. Mo was generally enthralled as he looked at it. At the same time, Silver Moon City's City Lord's Mansion. Sima Chang Kong also had a stack of Gu Hai's information in front of him. His military god king, Gu Hai, appeared at the age of 30, and once he was born, he led his army to sweep the world. That group of trash let them go find talent. Just based on this, this Gu Hai is enough to enter our field of vision or such talent actually turn a blind eye. Oe, abandon your post and become a businessman, the richest man in six countries. In a short period of time, to become the richest man in the six countries is indeed not ordinary people can. It's too fast. This isn't the richest of the six kingdoms. This is the seventh kingdom, the seventh kingdom hidden among the six kingdoms. Acquired qualifications, struggling to worship the immortal sect and not being able to. Are those sect masters of the nine and five islands all fools, such a good talent, such a wise man? They can't even look at him. Cultivating external skills to reach the Haoshan realm in a barren secular world with no spiritual fruits whatsoever, one can actually cultivate to the peak of the Haoshan realm. Huh, there's a Gong Fu, uh, is this it? This crappy Gong Fu can also be cultivated to the peak of the Haoshan. What a powerful willpower. Above the flying boat, Mo Yika also looked at the information in his hand. If it wasn't for Long Wan Ching's whim, such a great talent was actually almost buried in that bitter cold ruin land. Huh, there's a plan to destroy Song that separated separately. Mo Yika flipped through the plan for the extermination of Song. Flipping through the plan for the extermination of Song. Flipping and flipping. Mo Yike's eyes were no longer appreciative as they were in the beginning, but his eyelids fluttered furiously. Hiss, Mo Yika sucked in a breath of cool air. Mr. Mo, what information are you so surprised by? Young Master and was surprised. Mo Yike carefully looked at it again, then handed the song extermination plan to Young Master and closed his eyes alone and began to deduce the song extermination plan in his mind. This song extermination plan, naturally, wasn't the most comprehensive, but it didn't prevent Mo Yike from completing it. All kinds of information gathered Mr. Mo's mind while deducing, while completing the plan to destroy Song, although his eyes are closed, but his heart is to set off monstrous waves. At the same time, Sima Chang Kong in the Silver Moon City mansion was also doing the same thing, although his eyes were closed. But one could tell that his eyeballs were constantly turning, his brows were deeply furrowed, and a gust of shocked expression appeared on his face. Who are you? Sima Chang Kong's eyes opened. Terrific, terrific plan to exterminate the song. What a terrifying plan to exterminate the song. A chain plan. A dozen or so serial ploys chained together at the same time. Drumming up the hearts of the people. Manipulating the hearts of the people. Losing the hearts of the army. Losing the hearts of the people. 
losing the hearts of the ministers and losing the hearts of the ruler, overthrowing a country in a like manner. This Gu Hai is a terrifying character. A gust of shock flashed through Sima Chang Kong's eyes. The evaluation of Gu Hai increased amidst again and again. Above the flying boat, Huyu, Mo Yaika also opened his eyes in shock. A. Hey, it's not much, isn't it just a mortal kingdom? What's the point of bothering so much? It's not much of a big deal. Young Master and looked at the plan to exterminate Song. A hint of disdain flashed in his eyes. Mo Yaika looked at Young Master and in a daze, opening his mouth for a long time, not knowing what to say for a moment. Mr. Mo, am I right? Why do you have this expression? Young Master and curiously said. You're hopeless, Mr. Mo shook his head and said. Huh, young master and was slightly stunned. Mo Mo, however, snatched the plan to destroy the song from young master and his hands and carefully studied it again. After a while, he carefully placed it aside in a very solemn manner. Young master and looked at Mr. Mo speechlessly. Is it that important? Mo Mo ignored young master and, and continued to look at Gu Hai's biography. Each and every incident, thrilling. Ninth Prince, Mr. Mo raised an eyebrow. Twenty-eight heaven and earth vertical and horizontal formation. Twenty-nine heaven and earth longitudinal chess game. Elder chess watcher, Mr. Mo's eyes grew more and more grave. Young master and looked at Mr. Mo from the side. And when he saw that Mr. Mo was ignoring himself, he was also worried for a while. After thinking about it, he said somewhat curtly, Mr. Mo, although that Gu Hai is capable, but he's definitely not as good as you. Mo Mo ignored it. Seeing that Mr. Mo ignored, young master and once again carefully said, I was accidentally deceived by Gu Hai. And only then did I gamble with Gu Hai in Silver Moon City. Gu Hai's gambling is great, but it's definitely not as good as Mr. Mo. You have to know that Mr. Mo has played the 20, 9 heaven and earth chess game with that 9 dukes even though he didn't finish the game, but he could be recognized by the Nine Dukes. And the 29 Heaven and Earth chess game is not something that Gu Hai can look up to. At that time, if you didn't stop it, you went to play chess with Gu Hai. Ha! Momo flung a pile of information to Young Master and look for yourself. Young Master and's face stiffened slightly as he picked up the information and read it. His face stiffened as he watched. Impossible, right? Gu Hai cracked the 29th heaven and earth vertical chess game. Young Master Un's face darkened as he said. Silver Moon City Lord's Mansion. Where's Gu Hai's information before he turned 30? What about Gu Hai's family's information? What kind of education was he exposed to before he turned 30? Why is there only news from after Gu Hai turned 30? Sima Chang Kong looked at the crowd in front of him. On the flying boat, Mo Yike also asked the same topic. What do you mean, there is none? Mo Yike glared at the freshened up subordinates in front of him. It's just nothing, sir. Gu Hai seems to have popped out of the cracks of a stone. We went this time and specifically searched for news from everywhere. But there's just no trace of Gu Hai before he turned 30. A subordinate said bitterly. Rubbish. This is what you call Gu Hai's resume. Mr. Mo said in a cold voice. Sir, we've tried our best, a group of subordinates said bitterly. Go down, Mr. Mo suppressed his anger and said. As the subordinates left, young master and looked at Mr. Mo and said. Sir, you don't have to be so angry. That Gu Hai is only a little bit smarter. He can only play a game of chess. Grandpa has quite a few of these types of strategists under his command. Mo Mo looked at young master and with wide eyes. Hey, Mr. Mo, why are you looking at me like that? Young master and worriedly said. There are quite a few of these types of strategists in the hands of the king. Heh, Mr. Mo shook his head and laughed bitterly, no longer having the strength to refute young master and. 